Members of the Joint Board of Elections met Friday on St. Thomas, beginning with both district chairs providing reports. Arturo Wallington recapped yesterday's meeting of the St. Thomas St. John District, stating they adopted new dates for the election calendar to comply with their consent decree and that they plan to pursue voter education. Two motions were also made. Uh, to have the Board of Elections at least St. Thomas St. John District uh, in fact vote on the type of ballots that will be used in next election. Um, I ruled that out of order because uh, that is the uh, that is in the domain and jurisdiction of the legislature. The other motion was a letter from Diane McGrath asking for copies of the 2012 election tally sheets. Wallington said the board hopes to provide those, however, because of the move. Those items have not yet been located in Paris and Lisa. Adelbert Bryan shared a report for St. Croix. He said members are concerned $2.1 million are not accounted for. He also noted locks were changed in their office and that OSHA paid them a visit yesterday. We found a lot of things the claim need to be corrected and run with the property and I think we need to move post haste to address these concerns. The joint board then discussed the new election calendar dates, which some members felt started too early. Instead, they changed a few dates, which the legislature must approve to become law. The new dates call for nomination filing to be the first Monday in May, the withdrawal of candidates the fourth Wednesday in May, and casting of lots the fourth Friday in May. Member Claudette George's also motioned for the board chair to establish a committee. To investigate and recommend to the members of the joint board the method to be used to properly dispose of the obsolete voting machine. That motion passed. The joint board then voted to take a 45-minute recess. Following that, they were scheduled to discuss personnel and budget matters in their executive session. For News 2, I'm Erica Bivens.